AI's new Blade LED lights might just be the most versatile, best performing, and shockingly cost-effective way to light your reef with LEDs, namely with the Grow model. And you're gonna see why shortly, but first, AI's new Blade LEDs are super sleek strip lights with a range of spectrums dedicated for growth, coloration, growing macroalgae, and even for aquatic plants. They come in seven different lengths to match up with the most popular aquarium sizes. They offer loads of practical mounting options and even come ready to play nice with your own DIY mounting options. Plus, they're controllable through both Mobius and the My AI app. And not only will I be going over all of the usual specs and app info, but I also have some awesome PAR data and shadow testing results for these blade lights, both on their own as well as paired up with a pendant style fixture. And oh boy, is it compelling. But first, when you open up the box, you're gonna find the blade LED fixture, the tank rests or HMS clips, depending on the length of the fixture, as well as the power supply and a quick start guide. Like I was mentioning earlier, there are seven different lengths available. 12 inch, 21 inch, 30 inch, 39 inch, 48 inch, 57 inch, and 66 inch. Each length essentially just adds on another cluster of LEDs, giving you one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven clusters respectively, with a maximum power draw of 20 watts per cluster. Each cluster contains 26 diodes in six groups of four, tucked behind what AI has dubbed their edge field optics, which are designed to vastly improve color mixing and spread compared to the optics usually found on other supplemental or strip style LED bars. These optics are what allow the blade light to have such a flat and even distribution of par with excellent color blending and incredible shadowing performance. And I'll be diving into all of that in just a bit. The blade also has a very sleek aluminum housing with an IP66 water resistance rating and is also silent thanks to its efficient passive cooling. So if a silent light is high on your list of priorities, then the blade will not disappoint. The blade lights are also available in four different spectrums. Grow, Glow, Refugium, and Freshwater. Each cluster of LEDs on the Grow model mixes 12 royal blues and six blues alongside six cool whites with a focus on, you guessed it, healthy coral growth. Glow, on the other hand, mixes 3405 nanometer, 3415 nanometer, and 6430 nanometer near UVs with 12 royal blues to really bring out as much coral fluorescence as possible. The Refugium version has an even split of six cool whites, six royal blues, six reds, and six 430 nanometer near UV, which should work really well for marine algae and macroalgae growth. And lastly, they also have that freshwater blade with 16 cool whites, four warm whites, two royal blues, and two reds. The Grow model is going to be an amazing option for those that just want to give their corals exactly what they need at the best value. The cost per par on this model is absolutely phenomenal phenomenal and came out as the least expensive option of over 50 light fixtures that we've tested. Not only is it going to do a great job of growing corals, but it also looks great and the bluer spectrum does a good job of showing off coral coloration on a budget. Their glow spectrum is a great option for those looking to dial up the fluorescence of their corals. For example, if your current light is on the whiter side, like a Radeon Pro for example, and you wished you had have gone with a Radeon Blue, adding on a mix of the glow as well as even a grow fixture is a great option for supplementing more of that color pop that you're after. When it comes to control, the blade fixtures are really easy to work with and they can be paired up with either the My AI or the Mobius app. Discovering and pairing these lights in the app was one of the best experiences I've had with controllable reef gear and it just worked. Once paired up, you get a prompt to choose from a basic preset or to use the schedule builder to make a simple custom light schedule. You can choose the start and end time, whether you'd like linear, sinusoidal, or parabolic ramping up to your maximum intensity and the overall intensity of each color channel that together make up the maximum intensity and spectrum of your schedule. It is a refreshingly simple approach to building a light schedule that is going to make it really easy and uncomplicated while still giving you just the right amount of customization to make sure that you can provide your corals with the right intensity while making sure it also looks great to your eyes. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm also excited and just super happy to see that AI went all out and made sure that there were plenty of useful and practical mounting options available for the blade lights. Not only do you get a pair of extendable low profile tank rests included with the 12, 21, 30, and 39 inch fixtures or HMS clips for the 48, 57, and 66 inch fixtures, but you also have the option for extendable elevated tank mounts, hanging kits for three, four, and six blade lights, hybrid mounting brackets to pair up with the HMS mounting arms, and, and AI even took the time to put standard M8 threads into each end of the blade light so you could easily mount them to DIY mounts that you make yourself with a pair of M8 screws, which is great since it will also allow you to angle the lights in any direction. It almost makes me wonder if they intend to make more mounting options for these lights in the future that might take advantage of those M8 threads. But enough speculation, now let's get on to the fun stuff. The blade LEDs perform very well when it comes to the spread and distribution of PAR, even though it's just a single thin LED strip over a 60 gallon cube, it's able to achieve a remarkably wide and even spread of PAR right at the top of the aquarium. In the middle of the aquarium, it gets even better and the bottom is the same super even spread of PAR. And while a single blade is hitting PAR number suitable for softies and LPS all by itself, when you add two more to the picture, not only do you get up to SPS numbers, but the spread becomes even more impressively flat and even. Now, if you already have a pendant fixture over your tank, like an AI Prime, for example, adding a couple of blades is going to help improve that spread of par throughout the aquarium while increasing those par numbers at the same time. But more importantly, the blade LEDs have a huge impact on the amount of shadowing you'll see in the aquarium. An AI Prime by itself has some pretty obvious shadowing going on, which is going to mean that corals that are shading one another aren't going to get all the energy that they need. But as soon as you add on a pair of blades, those shadows are dramatically reduced. And when you use just blade fixtures, whether that's a single blade or multiple blades, their ability to fill and wrap the entire aquarium with light is truly showcased and it is really impressive. In a very real way, AI's blade LEDs are proving that the strip light form factor might just be one of the most efficient ways that you can use LEDs to provide your reef with light. I mean, they're modular, they work really well as primary lighting or as a way to add onto your existing lighting, and the blade's performance really just speaks for itself. This might just be what the future of LED lighting for our aquariums looks like. And if you'd like to get your hands on a blade for your reef tank, you can click here to check them out.